God, when will this pandemic ever end? Omicron sounds like a shit transformer. I must venture outside at some point and get some more yoghurts. Jeremy has fucked the others in the flat for some weird TikTok challenge. Can you find a yoghurt sexy? Nah, perhaps it's worth a try. Masturbation has gotten stale since the Delta variant. Jeremy, why are you using my laptop? I got you an iPad for Christmas. Buy now, pay 12 months. Fucking pointless. What does he actually search for on here? Right, let's have a look. Does COVID exist? Is Chris Whitty an alien? Can he still have sex unvaccinated? Lorraine Kelly? That's quite tame for Jez. Oh, wait, no. Lorraine Kelly fan fiction. That makes more sense. Let's have a look. I'm sorry. I don't think Ben Shepard would do that to her. She's a national treasure, for God's sake. Sick bastards. I fucking hate doing that. My gag reflex is awful. Wouldn't do well in a prison. This completely takes a stale piss. Fucking Jeremy going on his anti-vax march. Breaking distancing rules. Look at him. Completely oblivious to the real world. Symptomless. Well, I'm here, coughing my lungs out, feeling like Eddie Hall's just sat on me. And he's used the only other two remaining lateral flow swabs, so he and Superhands could reach the brain during an acid trip. God, why me? All because he wanted to get off with Big Sue's. The man is horny 24-7. This is the longest 30 minutes ever. Feels like I'm waiting for my GCSE results again. Why was I even careful? Chapped hands from sanitising, and I sprayed all my food. Dettol and beans don't mix. Uh, it's okay for you, Joe Wicks. You're tall, handsome, and actually like yourself. You know full well that most people give up midway through this to eat half a pack of biscuits and wait for their impending deaths. What else is on? Ah, God is always here to help me. This man didn't need to do squats and eat grass to find inner happiness. He just painted his happy little clouds and trees and beat the devil out of his brush. I may not be a good painter, but I can definitely beat the devil out of my brush with the best of them. Self-isolation is dull as tits. I've pretty much done an entire lockdown's worth of activities in just three days. I can't believe I tested positive. I feel like shit. And all Jeremy has done to help me is make a herbal tea, which I later found out was laced with nitol. Just so I didn't hear him with Big Sue's. Will I ever learn? Bubble fucked, burst, and set a light. If I'm going down, I'm taking him with me. Ah, best of both. Combining the dessert and the treat into one lovely loaf. And at half the price. I'm finally one of life's winners. Now it doesn't matter anyway. Can't taste a fucking thing. Might as well be chewing on a sofa cushion. I suppose I could take advantage of these missing senses and challenge that tin in the back of the cupboard. May as well add the shits to my list of symptoms. I can't believe the restrictions have been lifted. I liked wearing a mask. It gave me anonymity so I could buy condoms without judgement. I suppose I better start making a shopping list. Right, what cereal says I'm out of lockdown and it's time for the new me? Special K with berries? Nah, dried cereal fruit unnerves me. Crunchy nut? Saw Jeremy ate a whole box of those. Anything that has red on the traffic light system and can be classified as breakfast by corporations is going nowhere near my mouth. Look at America. They have donuts for breakfast and they voted for Trump. You know what? Screw it. It's bran flakes for me. Make Britain bland again. I can't believe it. My first time going outside for two years, and this is where I end up. Go to the seaside, they say. Only ten minutes in, and already have sand in my shoes and mouth. The human mind and body is not wired to deal with crunching down on a grain of sand. And the tide is out. Just like my hopes and dreams. 
I suppose I could go for fish and chips. It's what everyone else does when they go to the beach. I've never understood the romanticism of sitting by the pier enjoying a cone of chips. Oh, darling, let's sit out in severe winds, fighting off seagulls pearl harbouring into our stale cone of chips. Yellow beaked fuckers. I miss this city. Give me pollution and hostile glances on the tube.